Yeah, and it's my mom. Hang on a minute, this will be fun. Mom, I'm gaming right now! Yes, yes you are. Mom, I'm gaming right now! With... With my friends, Mom! Hey, don't do that, me! Hey, I'm here too! Mom! I'm gaming with my friends! What do you want? Hey. And I'm streaming, Mom! Mom! <laughs> I love you, Mom. my god I didn't just do that but I'll take it I'll take it I think I think Marv would have been very proud of me in that moment I have the holocron I'm here you didn't make it great here did you get out ah! don't know what happened there Wikipedia for me but I have a Wikipedia um and I hate it I yeah oh my oh wait wait is that, is that an empty tell me that's an empty suit okay it's an empty suit okay oh but I don't like the music that's playing I do not care for the music that is playing right now and there's a lot of ammo around here there's a lot of ammo around here I could have swore that was somebody hanging there I could have swore that was somebody hanging there which and should be the upcoming update that's the hell is that that is barry barry, barry. barry. so you gotta say hey to barry so is, this, is this the haunted house in the halloween season yeah, and they just and they just, just and they just keep all their just uh, just just, their, uh, just just keep just keep keep going along you're doing prop. fine you're doing fine <laughs> Oh, what was that? 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 What the hell was that? What was that? I don't know. You tell me. What tell was me. that? Okay. Yeah. You know what, T? <laughs> you, you know, you know, I will get you for this. Yeah. I, yeah. I, just, I, I oh, will get you. Bullshit. For this. You're the one, dude. You're the one that took me to TWA at night. I don't want to fucking. Oh, <laughs> well, I missed this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anything on your, anything on your EMS? Do you, you want, want to play, play ball, ball with me? me? Okay. <laughs> we are off and running, chat. Here we go. All right, Phil, move forward. Now, Phil, I will tell you right now, I will not leave you alone in this game. Open this door, Phil. Open this door to your left. One that, the one that, I, the one that I'm, okay. okay. Yeah, the one on the left. Okay, walk in there. And read what is on the, uh, the, the, the portrait, Phil. How was that? Was that you? No. Because I didn't read anything. I just heard a noise. No. Just, just Magna. Magna. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. That switch does not seem to do anything. Exactly. It just, oh, it just shuts off the uh, armor. Oh, no, <laughs> it shuts off the armor. Right, let me see if there's a switch over here. Yeah, well, these switches here. Hmm. That was not us. Again. All right. I think I heard Sabrina say mom. Huh? What? I thought you were in another room. No, she didn't say anything. Did you not? 
I heard that. that was, I thought that was. I, th- I thought that was Serena. I heard mom. Me too. I heard it too. It wasn't. That was not that a real person. I'll tell you what. I I know. Um. I'm gonna take a seat over here. Maker. Maker. You're probably told not to speak to strangers. And that's fine. That's fine. My name is T. And over there's my Was that you squeaking? Ooh, no, that wasn't. I heard that. Yeah, that's now I hear you squeaking. I heard What was that? that? It sounded like a voice. I I don't. It did. Yeah, it wasn't your. Cause no, it wasn't me. It wasn't. It nothing got caught in my throat. There was. I, I marked it, but. I. It was a mumble. Did you? You heard that, right? One hundred percent. Cat, I swear, are you? Are you really doing this to me? Are you seeing this? Ah! Damn it, cat! Don't. Oh, you, oh my god! The cat. You little jerk! Man? What did you do to my game, cat? I swear to god. That's still going off in there, too. I would like the cat balls. Someone needs some cat balls. What was that? Someone needs some cat balls. You have. What is that? What is that? Do you hear that, Pip? It's it's a it's a very. Wow. Hang on. It's a very rushed, it sounds like a rushed whisper. I'm gonna need some cat balls. I'm now slowing it down to 175. I'm hearing turn around. Does anyone else hear that? Which is, which is ironic when you think about it because I mean, something's... Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They're, they're just not talking to us right now. They're just not talking to us right now. Do you want to go here to the green room? But I ask you, I ask you, since when does an actor never want to talk about themselves? Uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. It's me, Twitch Dad. <laughs> and I'm here. Yeah, this is where this is where it starts to get super creepy. This is the game Cyberpunk 2077 wanted to be, chat. I'm just going to come out and say it. This is the game Cyberpunk 2077 wanted to be. So, there you go. Well, better powder, let's get at her. Okay. Glad I got that out of my system. City. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into the, the first computer and the consequences it would bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. But I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see features and companions and you. Here, let me take that off of you. You were my friend, the very best the very best I could ask had asked for. Oh, this is going to be another uh, lo- uh, Last of Us ending where I cry, isn't it? I'm tearing up already. Oh. Oh. He heads but- he's headbutting him. Why am 
am I crying at a video game? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I did it, hon. I did it, hon. I am. Um. Oh, I finished Stray. Worth every minute. Worth every minute. I'll move you back just a little bit. What? Yeah. She does look like I was just wondering if her belly was a little bit big. Yeah. Maybe that might be why she's hungry. That might be. So, Jack, you are upset that Wesley fought for Virginia, fought against his own people from Gettysburg. That must have been did, aggravating. Did, did, someone just, did you just whisper? Did you just whisper? Keep going, everything you got. No, oh, I don't know. I'm worried. He's back at red. Come on. Oh, no. Steve Saylor? Steve Saylor? <laughs> you did it! You did it! Congratulations, oh. Steve Saylor! You just picked up your second seal! That's a motherfucking red seal! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Do you I fucking oh. love it when T gets hyped. <laughs> the team made entirely of your clan. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Yeah, you just saw 80 inches of me touching my nipples on your on your wall. You're never going to look at your wall the same way again. Okay. Well, thank you, cat. <laughs> He wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna let me get back that smoothly. He was waiting. That was a long game. That was a long game. He was playing he was playing the long game on that one. And how you doing everybody? So damn it. Ah. Please hold. I'm gonna get this back. I'm gonna get this back to the right uh, setting. Cause this is not the this is the right setting, but not the right setting. This is what happens when you're uh Shut up. Shovel. This is what happens when you're. Ow. This is what happens, chat. When your when your train runs late, everything gets food barred. But don't worry, the host camera will be here in just a second. Instead, just enjoy my dulcet tones. How you doing, everybody? It has been a weekend. It has been a weekend, and you know, this is actually par for the course. So the the um stream ran uh ra rather the um the train ran late during the train ride during the train ride home thank you cat during the train ride home that was when i was uh making my way back from the uh dining car to our seats and I was rolling, I was rolling nat 20s on, on dexterity until we hit a bump and my, my, my body went forward. Fortunately, my knee broke the impact that I would have had against a chair. So I am currently icing the, uh, I'm currently icing the knee, which I was hoping it would, it would go away after, after a while. It has not. Mm. Um, thank you, thank you, cat. That was exactly the sound that that I heard when, when um, when I uh, when I landed. Of course, uh, we have been also been been sorting out and cleaning up the house because the cats left it in an absolute uh, uh, chaos mode. Um, 
and the only good thing was was that i had the wherewithal to order the pizza early and we got in an episode of fallout so so we finished our we finished our episode of fallout we are we are currently i'm just waiting for the cat to what <laughs> see benedict didn't want to have anything to do with me when i'm here now that i'm streaming he's like he's like he's like love you dad 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 love you come here don't you dare take a swing at me i feel i feel you i feel your paw coming up i feel your paw coming up um i will i will don't worry i will that's what she said <laughs> how you doing there how you doing there walker oh damn it mm. and the thing was it was the it was the the knobby bit of my knee it was the real knobby bit oh but i'm giving it i'm giving it plenty of ice if i could elevate it i would this is going to be a short stream anyway because i wanted to touch base with everybody on the weekend and what a weekend it it it, it has been uh man that's all i can say what a weekend it has been uh i i am i think i think part of me is still processing everything um it yeah uh it it was it was everything that i hoped it would be um it was everything that i was crossing my fingers that it would be we have already cleared at least according to it's according to youtube we have cleared over 100 views already of the live stream the live stream is actually outperforming the um the the launch of season three but but chat but season three is still performing really well uh we are we are closing in on 100 views within the first uh within within within, within the first first what 48 hours yeah 48 hours so not nothing nothing to complain about i'm, I'm real happy i'm really really happy uh about that i saw john get cleansed i think uh no not it wasn't tina it was uh it was it was uh jada uh, at the end of the theater to make sure that one didn't uh, connect with him i think he's fine i think he's fine matter of fact i have to make sure that we we sh we, we are are shutting the door and we also need to just make sure that that we took some precautions as well but the weekend really went by fast the weekend went by so freaking fast um but that's what this is everyone for those of you who are just tuning in this is the last this is the last part of the osi weekend and um this is part this is part of at least the process for us over here for phil rossi and myself um we want to hear from you we're going to be turning thank you thank you benedict we are going to be turning over um comments questions uh you know basically any kind of any kind of criticism comments or feedback you want to give us from the weekend we would love too fast <laughs> um it did go by it it if it felt like as soon as we arrived at clifton forge um somebody somebody clicked on the um the, the 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 double time speed and we just hit it we just hit the ground running so before we get into everything concerning uh what we did this weekend i just have to say a big 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 thank you to resident moon nick spencer spence the mod of the most this would not have happened without without them this would have could i please get hype in chat for spence please it, you can either you can either put in your own combo you can you can drop in the hype uh the the hype command if you if you want to but uh create your own create your own cheers whatever you want to do but please let's show some love for um uh for spence because without spence this entire weekend would have not happened and um i am exhausted i am running on fumes i've got caffeine here um i have to remember next time i need to bring sodas <laughs> that is not a slam on anybody where we were staying they didn't have sodas and i really wish i, I had brought some sodas um but what a weekend so let, let me go ahead and with your pals the other day. i was i was i was chewing with my pals the other day you're chewing with your pals the other day that's exactly what we were doing the other day uh so let me go ahead let me begin let me let me begin from from the top everyone for those of you who are just joining us for those of you who are wondering who we are um i'm t morris i represent old spirits investigations we are a 
a brand new paranormal group out, out of uh, Northern Virginia. And we have just uh, started season three of our YouTube show, which is called Old Spirits. You can find out more about that by going to oldspiritsinvestigations.com. You do that, it will take you to our YouTube channel. And we are also live over there. Uh, I only go live on both. Oh, there we go. I see I see, uh, I see. Jada in, in the YouTube chat. Hi, Jada. How are you? Um, and, of course, Spence is there as well. And as Spence pointed out, yes, Spence has the, 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 the wrench of power. And, and really, uh, I just cannot say enough thank you to Spence for making all of this happen. Just, just an amazing weekend. Um, and, and it was, it was a lot of firsts. It was a lot of firsts. Uh, first it was our, it was our premiere. It was our premiere of, of, uh, season three of Old Spirits. It was the first time we had ever had a team this big. There was myself, there was Phil, there was Pip. Uh, Tina was there in spirit. We, we missed, we missed you, Tina. We love you, Tina. And we're ready for you when, when you're ready to come back. But it was myself, Pip, Phil. There was uh, Spence. There was Jada. There was Valerie Griswold Ford, Captain Hobbs in chat. And finally, there was uh, Walker, John Walker. My man, Walker. There were seven of us. That was a big-ass group. And then we had special guests throughout the weekend. Um, and then, of course, you all who showed up and, and, and enjoyed the stream with us. So we, it was the biggest group we ever had on, on site. Then it was the first time we had ever investigated. Well, let me rephrase that. Um, the Masonic Theater had never been investigated before, and we were, we were the first team to go in and do so. And then there was the CNO Railway Heritage Museum. And again, never before investigated our first museum. We had never done a museum before. So, so yeah, all of these firsts were happening while we were in, uh, in, in Clifton Forge. And let me tell you something about, about Clifton Forge. Let me tell you a little bit about Clifton Forge. That's a magical place. It is, it is a, it is a paranormal hotspot that I can now say beyond a shadow of a doubt, I want to bring some people there and, and see if they pick up what we're laying down. Yo, John Keegan getting the REM pod membership over at YouTube. How about that? Thank you, John. Thank you for becoming a member. Really do appreciate that. Well, that, that's you're going to love that, John, because uh, you're going to see if you become a member of of uh, uh, over over on YouTube, if you become a member, REM pod or higher, we, we put up not only behind the scenes shots, we also put up uh, special investigations like bonus investigations, things that we're not streaming, things that we're not posting elsewhere. They only show up when you when you sign up as a member there. So John just unlocked a lot of content for him to, to see, which is pretty exciting. That's very cool. Thank you, John. We really, we really appreciate your patronage there over on YouTube. Um, you know, and the funny thing is coming home tonight, it's like a, it, it's like a, uh, oh, geez, it's like, it's like a paranormal Papa Palooza right now because I know Amy's Crypt's got something running. I know at least two other, oh, um, Haunt Hunters. They're currently they're they're lurking in chat, but they're currently on an investigation, and yeah, it, you know, there's been there's been a lot of things um, there's been a lot of things uh, hitting the fan today, and I'm just like, I'm like, you know what? There's one thing I'm looking forward to doing after this is just chilling out with one more, if possible, if my wife is up for it, one more episode of Fallout, and then I am sleeping in my bed, and I'm I am looking forward to that. Um, we did find out something though about Clifton Forge. I think Spence, you need to know a little bit more about that Hillcrest Airbnb or that Hillcrest Bed and Breakfast. Yeah, they actually do haunted packages. They do haunted packages. So, the more you know, uh, and, th and there's a lot of other people that I, I, I do want to thank for the weekend. Um, I'm going to thank all my mods, uh, in particular, secondhand. Coming in strong, 
uh, on on Saturday for as long as, as as they could last because I know that they had other commitments and everything like that. Um, there were a lot of people that were that were showing up and and, co and commenting from beginning to end. Cami, I know you were one of them. I know that uh, Steve Saylor also popped in and said, "Hey, oh yeah." So there's a um, if you if you look at the I think it's the Instagram post that I made over on Old Spirits Investigations. Well, let me just double check that. I I solved I solved two mysteries this uh, this weekend. I solved two mysteries this weekend. Uh, the first one was put forward to me by the owner and proprietor of the Red Lantern Inn. There was a the orig originally the Red Lantern Inn in Clifton Forge where we were staying, and this is how our weekend started. Used to be the Undertaker and Embalmers uh, uh, facility uh, at the turn of the, at the turn of the century in, 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 at 1900. There is a picture of the Red Lantern Inn and its storefront, Undertaker and Embalmers, and there were three words. They had caskets, coffins, and then there was a third one. And nobody could figure out what the third what the third word was in that row of stuff. So my wife and I did a little deep diving, and we discovered the the third the third word of that of that storefront was in fact robes, as in burial robes. Mystery solved. So I have to make sure that I I, I email a quick thank you uh, thank you note to the proprietor of the uh, of, of the Red Lantern Inn. And let her know that we did we did figure out what that third and final word was. Now it wasn't because we found another storefront, but we noticed a lot of the 1900 undertakers at that time. They had like business cards and things like that, and one of, and they would talk about all the stuff that they that they offered. And one of the things that we saw we saw was ceremonial burial robes or ceremonial robes or burial robes. <coughs> and when we looked at the storefront, we could clearly see an R. Well, not an R. We can see an O and a B, and maybe an R. And when I saw robes, I said, that's got to be it. It's got to be it. So, yeah. Um, you need to email me that clip from the premiere, too. Yes, yes. I'm going to be emailing you all of the audio. I have to do that. Well, I'm actually going to give you a link because, uh, Val, we're going to be setting up tonight, we being, as in my wife, uh, <laughs> She is going to be setting up a category, a, a, a directory, excuse me, a directory in Dropbox specifically about um, Clifton Forge. And I'll make sure that I get you a, either a link or permission or whatever. I'll get you that. Don't worry. Hi, Kat. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, Benedict? How you doing? You all right? Uh, I have not forgotten. It's just, I mean, because the train ran a little late, we hit the ground running. We had to first feed the cats. Then we had to assess the damage left behind from the cats, which was looks like it was focused in my office. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that this is a very tight focus because I've got a few landmines left in my carpet that I got to get up before uh, before uh, Val gets here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's happening. Um, but the other mystery that I discovered was this. Somebody got a really cool shot of me on stage doing the ghost hunting and if you if you um if you want to see the actual photograph it was this and and I asked everybody on the team on on my team I was like who took this cuz this is a this is an, an amazing shot it looks out of focus but trust me it's in focus and it's this amazing shot of me um, on stage. And I was trying to figure out who, and, and Steve Saylor basically gave it this, this noir look to it. So I asked him, I said, I, I then asked Steve, is this a screen capture? And he's like, yeah. Steve Saylor had, had made the screen capture and took this from the stream. And, and I, I had no idea that he had done that. Um, oh yeah, uh, Spence is absolutely right. If there are, if there are any, no, it wasn't you. It wasn't you, Val. It was, it, Steve basically did a screen capture and, and that's how I didn't realize that, that the screen, that the stream looked that good. Um, from what I could tell, we were streaming. Let me just, let me just check the, the, 
Let me just check the, the settings that I had. I think I can say, and again, Spence, you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be tickled when I when I when I tell you this. Um it, if if we were streaming at the settings that I thought we were, um Let's run camera back. Here we go. Settings. Okay. Uh, streaming. Yeah. I can honestly say without the sh beyond a shadow of a doubt, this was the most successful stream we have ever um, hosted on at, at any site, even surpassing Crescent, because we we went live uh, at at just after five o'clock, five fifteen to midnight. So it was, it was a near seven hour stream, six hours and 45 minutes, almost to the dot. And we were streaming at uh, 3K, not 4K, not 400 kilobaud per second, but at 3K. Uh, we were streaming at 1080 resolution and we had, we, get, we had a frame rate of 60, 60 frames per second. <laughs> Now the nerd in me absolutely is losing their mind over this quietly because I am I am butt tired and I am exhausted. But the fact that we were to pull that off in Clifton Forge, Virginia, I am absolutely over the moon. Uh, I'm absolutely over the resident moon, if you must know. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. It's a pretty that's, from, from a technical standpoint. Um, I actually should should send a thank you note to Streamlabs. And, and let them know just how amazing of a stream that was. Because I've sent them plenty of plenty of uh, notes about, about- uh, Figured it. <laughs> figured it. Who's Thanks. this not talking? Hey, it's your dad, thank you very much. He's probably going, I would like treats now. Well, you know what, you're gonna have to wait because this is a short stream. And besides, you got treats today, so I don't want to hear it. Um. <laughs> but but yeah it's been it's been a um it's been an absolute uh but an absolute absolute joy it's been an absolute joy this weekend so let's let's start from the beginning uh we arrive in in clifton forge we walk around a bit and then it, it felt like it took forever oh my god it felt like it took forever to get to nine o'clock but we got to nine o'clock and um and the premiere went went very smoothly for first thing i did was and arellis will think we'll, we'll probably get a kick out of this stop arellis will get a kick out of this i checked to make sure that the sound was there because i was uh, i was all stoked to be doing um some uh some premieres on the youtubes and i had a truly twitch dad internet dad just plain old dad sh shakes his fist at technology moment um, turns out that I had uploaded for whatever reason, or I, or I had thought I had out output my video of, um, of Gettysburg. It was, yeah, it was, it was, it was Gettysburg. Pro I think it was Gettysburg part one. And I thought I'd output it with audio. Turns out I hadn't. So since then, I always make it a point to check and make sure that my, that my video has audio. And we did, we did have audio. Um, and from there we 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 did that we did the premiere so it was part one of charleston and uh let's focus on that for a bit for those of you who are uh here who have been um and i see i see you in there i see you in there ninja how you doing how you doing there uh jada i felt like i felt like this went a little smoother as we as we were talking about than the other investigation <laughs> So now the big question is, well, I guess the bigger question is when are we heading back? Because we definitely have to go back. Without a question, we have to go back. Um, but I'd like to hear real quick uh, your thoughts on, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the premiere. Charleston, South Carolina, introduction to Maryville. For those of you who have seen the opening episode, what would you, what would you like to tell me about it? Again, I'm I'm watching I'm watching chat in both YouTube and as well in Twitch. So the uh, the feedback is now open. Premiere is lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, whenever <laughs> whenever I pull the trigger. 
Uh, the premiere was absolutely amazing. Love the intro and outro. Thank you. I'm real proud of the new intro. Um, so this is this is pretty exciting. Uh, for those of you who have watched Old Spirits from the beginning, you know that we've we've got this terrific theme that we got from I believe it was I believe it was Google Music. But there's a wonderful theme in there that we that we that we and we still use it for our five minute paranormals. You'll you'll see that in in a couple of weeks. And I wanted to do something not only different, I wanted to do something original. And I was looking at what other people were doing, of course, and I, I noticed that it was simpler. It, it was a little more, it was a little more simple. It was a little more intimate. So that's when I turned to my partner in the paranormal, Phil Rossi, and I said, I want you to do a remix. I want you to do a variation on the themes of our original theme but I'd like to do it in just a in just simple piano. I want it eerie, and I want it in a in, a, in so minor of a key it, it it slaps you upside the head. And that was what Phil Rossi created. Uh, that is a that is a Rossi remix of the original theme. You hear it in its entirety at the end with the end credits, of course. But yeah, I think Phil Phil killed it. Phil killed it, and it was funny because when I first. When I, when I, I not I didn't give him any notes on what I wanted. That little build when you see old spirits, that was he put that in there. He had no idea what I was planning. And every every season has had a different location. Like uh, well, actually, um, seasons one and two was uh, was was Blackburn in, but from two different angles. But we still had that full moon. And when I was shooting at Wayside just a few months ago, uh, some of you were actually in chat when I looked up and saw that, and I framed the the I framed the the sign with the moon, and I think it was it, it was uh, I might have been Lizard, it might have been Lizard that said, "Well, there's your opening slate," and and it just it worked, it worked brilliantly. So that's a, that's a that's a new intro, and I'm glad everybody digs the new intro. Uh, next time you see Phil Rossi live on 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 uh, on Twitch or or even in one of our premieres next week, part two premieres next week. Um, waiting for the cat to cross. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you. Make sure to compliment him on the theme. I thought he did great. But when I when I did only the first half, he said, "Did you intentionally use only half of my music?" And I said, "Yes and no." <laughs> I'm gonna feature all of it. But that was the other funny thing too. All I wanted. All I wanted was 30 seconds of music, and Phil gave me an hour, uh, not an hour, he gave me a minute and 15, and I'm like, all right. So, pretty freaking cool. And um, sadly, I was so focused on these streams, folks in my house. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. um, that taco mix that you put together, whew, I enjoyed that. Now, you might not have put in the seasoning, but but whatever you put in the meat, it was, boy, yeah, I, I was very happy. Gave a little tickle in the back of the throat, so I was have it. Um, and let me let me just take a look over here. Uh, <clears throat> oh, Cammy's Cammy is is digging uh, Jada's hair. Hard not to, hard not to. It's it, it, it's amazing. It, it's it's an artwork. Jada is walking artwork. I just I'm just gonna leave it at that. Jada is is walking artwork. I suggest you let that one marinate. Okay, and let's see. Got to come up to New Hampshire to invest. You know, I I would not be surprised if if uh, Phil put that put that across my plate because I know he would love to get up to North to New England. He's crossing again. He's doing it on purpose. So yeah. Um, so there was that. And um, so thank you again for for the opening. Now. Uh, was there was there anything um, and thank you all for the compliments thank you all for 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 digging uh, part one part two is where things get interesting I think that's the best way to describe it part two if you thought we had an active house in part one wait until you see part two wait until you see part two part two gets uh part two gets crazy and that is that is dropping next week so if I, if I haven't made this clear, so Old Spirits has been doing a lot of different things when it comes to programming. We've been we've been trying out different things and different ways of presenting our, our content. Uh, the way I describe it to people is it's not 
quantity so much as it is quality. We have our season launch well, now April, but I'm 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 aiming for season four to start in March. Um, the plan is this: we basically start this season in April. It runs consistently all the way to Halloween, and we do have a special Halloween investigation coming up. We're pretty excited about it. It is a first time never investigated site, a place called Annaberg. We're very stoked about this. And that is coming up. That's gonna be our Halloween special. We then have a break. And then in December, we do a holiday special. So last year, last uh, so last year, what we did was we did, um, and I, and I, I mean, I'll, I'll break it down for you. Season one, we did a full episode and then I think we did three five-minute paranormals and then another episode, three five-minute paranormals. Basically one investigation a month. We changed it up and then we went to one investigation across two episodes. And then what we did was part one, a five-minute paranormal, part two, and then two five-minute paranormals. We tried that. This year, the plan is to do part one, back to back with part two, and then two five-minute paranormals. Either way, the plan is in our in our season, we're gonna try to give you at least eight investigations spread across two episodes. And I know that's that's far less than what some other groups do. Folks like Amy's Crypt, Paranormal Quest, and so on, they're doing this on a weekly basis. And you know what? Mazel tov to them. I love that. I love that. But that's not where Phil and I are right now. We still have to um, plan logistics and, and we have to plan around um, we have to plan around uh, different schedules, not just mine, but but Phil's as well. And Phil has Phil Phil has has kids that are still in school. So there is a lot of moving parts to what we do. And that is that is our schedule for this year. And we're going to give that a shot. And at any time, if you want to let us know what you think of the of the schedule, first season, second season, and this season, let us know what you think works best. If we can give you more investigations, we will. But right now, we're not doing this full time. And and we're trying we're trying to give you all the best investigation that we can possibly give you. I've got the wrong alerts up. Then again, I also got a cat jumping around in front of me. But I do have also panic resubbing uh, for 51 months. Yeah! I'm not bad. Thank you. Thank you. Panic. I also forgot. Yeah. I didn't have my closed captions on. They should be coming up any minute now. If you don't see them, feel free to refresh. I'm also going to fix my widgets because as much as I love my alerts for uh, for the sci-fi stuff, that is not what I want to use when I'm doing the spoopy stuff. Now I have proper alerts for the spoopy stuff. And if anybody wants to see what those alerts are, you can always uh, throw bits my way. That should also that should also trigger them. Or you can just sub. <laughs> but anyway, um, how are you, Panic? Your drinky bear. Playing Link's Awakening and the Dude Friend made me a drink. Nicely done. Nicely done. I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you're having a good weekend. I really do. This has been a this has been a fantastic weekend for me. Okay. Um so if if no one has any um any other any other thoughts or feedback on there you go. There you go. Uh the, you can see it, Shuffle. but I'm gonna move it because it's in it's in the way of. No, you got it. Yeah, <laughs> shovel. Um, it also would help if I got. I don't need. Well, no, I can do this. I can do this. Hold on. Um, I can take my event banner. And I can move it down this way. Now, now, now I have context of what I'm talking about, and my alerts will show up properly. Okay, it's all in the details of it. My feedback is shovel. Um. One thing I will say about the premiere 
and I want to make sure this is this is clear to everybody. You noticed there was a lot of people talking over each other. Don't let that stress you out. Don't don't think for a minute. Oh wow, is this what what the season's going to be like? No. We were doing a public private investigation. It's the best way to describe it. It was a private it wasn't a, it was a public event. It was a public events investigation, but the guy was trying out the new property. So there was just the four of us, me, Phil, Z Zombie, and Boo. And then there were the two other ladies that were joining us. And then there was the uh, the two people in charge uh, who were in, in charge of the property. So there, there was a little bit of back and forth in part one that I guarantee you will not be as prevalent in part two. Part two is a little more focused. And we are still making the square peg fit into the round hole with the way we shoot things. And we tried something very different this weekend. And I haven't, I, I won't be looking at the footage straight away, but I can tell you this, I, I have a feeling it's going to make, it's going to make a big difference in how things look. The fact that I saw that screenshot is, is, te is, is telling me, okay, this is going to be probably one of our best looking episodes ever because now you not only are there in the moment with us, you actually see us reacting to stuff. And we did have some stuff that we we reacted to. So if nobody has any other uh, questions for me concerning the premiere, we can now talk about the actual uh, investigation, which originally was supposed to be a four hour investigation, which wound up being a seven hour investigation. Uh, that was another first for, for Old Spirits. We have never done two locations, two very, very different locations. We've never done two locations in one night. That was also a first. And yes, it was very challenging, I thought. And yes, I freaking loved it. <laughs> so before we get into... Oh, thank you very much, Aurelis. Thank you very much. So before I get into it, let me ask you, Cat. First question is, what should I do with Benedict? Should I turn him into a small throw rug? Don't you be giving me sass. Why are you look why are you looking at my shirt? Boop. Okay. Um, my first question is concerning that. Concerning uh concerning give him pumpkin. <laughs> I should give him bump socks. <laughs> should turn him into socks, uh-huh. I um I should give him pumpkin. Uh you know, he he deserves it. He deserves pumpkin. You know what? I might just do that. Let me, uh, if you if you would go on ahead and just um, uh, roll with me. I'm going to run upstairs, put together his pumpkin dish, come back downstairs. It, it's not even it's not even worth it for me throwing the BRB. Um, but I will say this. While I make the pumpkin, if, uh, if I would like to hear your thoughts and comments about OSI doing two locations, two different locations in one night. Was that too much? Or did that work for you all? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave it in chat. I will get to it as soon as I get back from making Benedict pumpkin. Be right back.
Okay, chat. Oh. Or anybody ask? Hello there. Hello there. Before anybody asks, yes. Benedict does have pumpkin. Benedict has been pumpkinated. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so the um, so the question I had to everybody was, what were your thoughts on two investigations from two different locations uh, in one night? So we have, uh, I'm just looking up ahead. Uh, let's see. Uh, I love the first one. When it's really good, two hours fly by. Yeah, hold on. I got I got I got to run interference here. I got I got I got kittens that want uh, that want the pumpkin. Do you know what cats have in common with xenomorphs? Have you ever seen the the director's cut of Aliens? When I started opening the treats to calm down, I believe that is Hicks up there, I could hear the other two cat kittens throwing themselves at the door. <laughs> I could see them throwing themselves at the door. Oh look, Lane Love's back. How you doing there, Lane? How you doing there, Lane? Um, and uh, fall good. Uh, how are you? Want to hear how I've been haunted before? Um, right now, what we're doing, just so you all know. And mm hmm. Okay, drop kick. Now I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't put you guys into a timeout, Lane. Drop kick. I didn't put you guys in a timeout. You better hope that Spence will put you in a timeout before I do. Because Spence might go on ahead and give you guys a, uh, a pass. I'm not. But fall good. How are you? Good to see you. Right now what we're doing is we're doing, uh, we doing a post-mortem of the past weekend where I didn't see either one of you guys comment. But, you know, you missed out. You can always catch it in replay. You can always catch in a replay. Y'all behave. <laughs> it's getting lively over on, uh, on, on, uh, on, on, the, on the YouTubes. I love it. So, yeah, uh, I could actually hear the kittens throwing themselves against, against the door. Now, I'm also keeping an eye on you, buddy, because I want Benedict to eat his pumpkin in peace. So my, um, my, question, my initial question was, how do you feel about two different locations in the same night? Um, yeah, the, the two hours, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, Relis, those two hours at, at, uh, at the, the museum just flew by. Absolutely, positively flew by. Cammy, don't worry about, don't worry about anybody misbehaving in chat. Spence is on it, they're taking care of it, but thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let me go ahead and let me just, uh, scan real quick what was, uh, what was being said in Twitch. Uh, missed the second because sleep was needed for work. That's fine. Now I understand too that that's one of the things about about the risk you take when you do more than one location, is that 
somebody might not be able to stick around for the new the, the, the new one um and let's see uh the two locations were really interesting to say the least yeah i mean that's one of the things that the only the the, the i think the main thing about the two locations and the the attempt to us at, at us having us do something like that was that they were both so dramatically different you had a theater and then you had a museum an indoor outdoor museum and i think at least with with locations i i want i wanted to get everybody's opinion on that whether if we did that in the future would you want to have the two locations have some type of uh, some 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 type of connection like they're both they're both hospitals or they're both um they're both schools or they're both they're both the same thing or did it work better for you all that they were both dramatically different so i'd, I'd like to i'd like to hear your thoughts on that on, on that as well uh, I was so excited for the trains. I woke up at the moment I saw the train from the outside and they were arriving. I went flop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, the, the the train museum, those two hours flew by. And honestly, in, in well, first off, I think we, uh, according to Spets, we made, we made really good impressions while we were in Clifton Forge. And that was my main goal. It wasn't to find ghosts, it was to make impressions so that we could come back and maybe with even more people. I've been kicking around an idea with Spence about how we can make what we did on Saturday bigger, badder, and better. And that's part of the that's part of the feel, I think, of of this postmortem is I want I want to brainstorm with you all and hear what you think. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see, it's funny. I was not expecting the investigation to be as short as it was. No. It again, both both locations, both locations flew by. Um, I want a full night in both locations for a second one. I, it's, so, in other words, you would prefer. Now, Val, you're speaking as a. <laughs> now, this is a, this is even more interesting because Val here, Cassie, she is speaking as a paranormal investigator, not necessarily somebody that's watching, but as a paranormal investigator. So, yeah, very interesting. Um, no, I, of course, as an investigator, I would love to have one night at the museum, one night um, in the theater. However, we were working with what we were offered, so that's that's my that's my 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 bigger question. If we were offered a chance to do and able to do two different locations, um, would it be better if we had done it like? let's not do let's not do the museum um well let's not do the museum on saturday night let's see if we can do it friday now what was different about that was the people that were running the museum actually met or one of the people that was that was high up in the museum hierarchy they came to talk to us and meet us on friday night they wanted to get an impression from us and i think one of the things that that they were pleasantly surprised by was the packet of information that we got from the CNO uh, uh, Heritage Museum. Oh my God, they had so much history for us to review. It was it was it was lovely. It was lovely. So yeah, um, I don't I I can honestly say I'm gonna I'm gonna put myself out there, and I know I know I'm putting myself out there, and you're probably thinking, who's this not Tiger? But track with me. We're going to go back to the museum. Oh, yeah. We're going to do a full night in the museum. Absolutely. abso freaking lootly Well, thinner powder, let's get at her. Uh, let's see. So scrolling down a little bit. Now, granted, I, I'm not sure I could have handled a long investigation. I'm not as young as I was when I was... I'm older than you! <laughs> I'm older than you, Val! <laughs> I got a few years! It's not the years, honey. It's the mileage. And let me tell you something. I got some mileage under my hood. <laughs> but no, we were all exhausted. We were all exhausted. We were all freaking exhausted. Let's be honest. We were all freaking exhausted. Maybe not two nights in a row, but definitely full night at both locations. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. But we, 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 
We do love uh, Dorito Crimes. Okay, this was when Dorito, you should have seen it. I had one of them locked out and then another one came in while I was walking towards the door. It just, it was, it was like a cycle of perfect cats. It was, it was ridiculous. Uh, I think Friday night, then Saturday night investigation would work. The nice thing was how close the sites they were to each other. Now that was a, that really is something that you can't necessarily bank on, but wow, was that an unexpected b -b 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 bonus of, of, um, of Clifton Forge. Because wow, to be able to walk between both locations, Chef's Kiss, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, let's see. Okay, heading home now. All right, you drive safe. You drive You drive safe there, uh, Jada. And again, thank you so much for everything you brought to the weekend. So much. You enjoyed they were different? Okay, good to know, as always. I'm totally speaking as an investigator, but actually I think it depends on the sites. Yes. I mean, it wouldn't be like, I mean, like, I personally don't think I could handle <clears throat> going to say a historic jail and then immediately after that going to like an asylum. That would probably that would probably do my head in. That would do my head in. But that's the thing about Clifton Forge. It's a unique place. It's a unique place because it has these 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 properties well within proximity to each other. I, I see you dancing around there. Do you do you want out? Okay. Um so you're going to go get some food? Please go get some food, Cammie. Uh, I would have loved more time because we barely uh, glimpsed at the surface of, of the museum. Yes. Um, I, I feel like we had... I feel like we'd had plenty of time in the theater. And that was that, that really is a sweet spot. Three... Uh, sorry. We were given four hours to investigate three different areas of the theater. And honestly, I felt like we did that justice. I was very, very happy with that. I was very happy with with all of that um you don't want to go there morris i have stories yes you do <laughs> you know where the bodies are buried <laughs> you know where the bodies are buried so okay so let's so then let's talk for those of you who uh were here for the live investigation what were your initial thoughts with uh with the investigation of the theater now as you all are, are putting together your thoughts and your criticisms and your your comments I would like to go on ahead and <clears throat> give you my own thoughts. <coughs> um, this was this one was a bit of a challenge because of the size of the teams. Now, I do not think in the future Old Spirits is going to have events that are that big. All right, I I, I doubt very seriously if I want if I want to do an investigation again, unless it was a really long investigation and I could work people in and out over shifts, um, because it's right now what i'm trying to figure out is the balance you see originally when i started this with phil when we when we started old spirits the the balance that we were trying to strike was where's the balance between the stream and the investigation and phil phil put his foot down he was like you not you need to stop worrying about the stream the stream is just is just a cherry on top of the cake we need to focus on the moment we need to stay in the moment and we need to stay in the investigation now he is absolutely right in that case he is absolutely right because that is why i have mods uh i have i have you know the main three i have panic i have um i have spence and i have uh um secondhand and the three of these ladies and then and then fourth if they are available my daughter so these four are my main mods. And maybe in the future, I will be opening it up to have other mods. But the main thing that the I have to require my mods to do is one, talk to each other, which they do, and they do that well. But also, I need to trust them to keep chat moving forward. Case in point, Spence was doing fine. And, and while I respect Cammy for stepping up and, you know, same thing, you know, it's not respectful to troll and and she's laying down the riot act i appreciate that and it actually tells other trolls you need to back off you just need to back off oh and marv thank you i don't think marv is officially um he has modded my channel but he has never modded an investigation as far as i know as far as i know 
but if the mods are there my community does not necessarily have to have to help because spence um secondhand and panic and my daughter all know my mod they know what i want they know what i want to do so so that's what's going down there and and it's real it's real simple you you know if you if you if you come into my stream and play shitty games you're gonna win shitty prizes so there you go it's cool we got it and and and, I, and i'm not i'm not worried about that at all um <clears throat> but when it comes to when it comes but now i'm in a funnier spot i've got the balance between the stream and the investigation but now phil and i are finding ourselves trying to find the balance between the investigation and the show and that if i ever find myself in a position and you know if we're returning i i, I know this crew i know this crew i know walker i know val i know i know spence if we're making if we're mounting a return to uh to clifton forge it's gonna be a big it's gonna be a big house if not bigger but one of the things that i that i'm i'm toying around with is the idea of um everything that i stream that's the stream right but i don't necessarily have to film everything at an investigation for the show we can break up into smaller teams we can go off and do other things and then when it comes to the show we focus on um <clears throat> that's when we focus on on me and phil in the investigation process so that's one of the things that i know that i personally am working with right now is striking the balance between what we film for the show and the investigation itself not as easy of a line to to draw as the one with the stream and and the investigation um so let me just see on larger site larger sites need more people absolutely i agree uh marv is just pickles on the side he's a fan i love marv's pickle giggity um <laughs> let me ban you i love the ban hammer <laughs> yeah but the, the the it's even more brutal on uh on on uh on youtube on youtube it's a wrench i mean you have a sword here on there it's a wrench and all i can picture is like i believe the character's name was was it jinx yeah jinx in arcana i mean you know you know just just all steampunked out with that big ass wrench about to cluck your brains in just saying that's what i'm saying but i do think yes if we have larger spaces we're gonna need large we're gonna need bigger groups um and i'll tell you this the original plan that we had when we were at the museum was that we were going to break up into two teams one team would go out to the uh to the museum and then the other one would actually go out to the trains and then we were going to flip and i think phil was 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 feeling the juju of the place and he knew that these two hours were just gonna we're gonna fly by so we called an audible and we kept the group together i think at some points it worked i think at some points it didn't uh, the footage will tell and i will tell you all this too real quick for all my for all my team members that are currently in chat both over on youtube and here on twitch i want to let you let you all know that uh pip is now currently setting up the dropbox if by tomorrow you don't get a notification please reach out to me on on um on discord and let me know if if you still haven't gotten the clearance okay i would appreciate that uh, if we had two sites for two days, we could have one team on one site one night, flip teams for the next night. Uh, no, YouTube uh, actually does allow for uh, for 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 permabans. They actually do allow for permabans. Uh, maybe not for maybe not for the mods, but for me, um, I actually had a choice with the, with the with the, the 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 two special individuals that showed up. Um, they, it, it did say that I could permaban them, but, uh, I, I chose just to give them 24 hours just to see they come back. And you know what? They came back very sweet, of them. very sweet of them to come back. But, you know, like I said, play shitty games in my chat. 
win shitty prizes. I would prefer not to dull out shitty prizes, but I am ready to. And so are my mods, especially secondhand. So there you go. All right. <laughs> um, I, I try, Ketro. I, tr I try to be as above board as possible. I really do. I try to be as above board as possible. And the fact that I didn't perma ban them from the channel, I mean, at least they know it's not like I'm. It's not like I'm desperate for for attention. I'm. I, I prefer. I just. I just prefer that you don't be a jerk in the street. That's it. So yeah. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So there you go. All right. Anyway. Um. So uh. So back to the back to the post mortem review. Uh, I am. That reminds me. I need to remind a friend. I almost broke his friend's his friend's uh, fingers in air hockey. Yeah. <laughs> I remember those days. I I remember those days fondly. I do. I do. Um. Okay. So so first off. Um. So no notes concerning uh con concerning the theater. Thank you again. Thank you all very much for for being a part of that stream. Uh, really appreciate it. Really appreciate um, everybody being there. Uh, the other thing about the museum is that doing it as late as we did, we didn't have much uh, outside contamination we've had earlier in the night. Yeah, that's true. I mean, one of the things I found out today, just waiting. So I had left some stuff at, at the at the museum. So I was I was already like, um, yeah, I was already running on fumes. But one of the things I noticed about the, about the museum on a whole is that. Even for a place like Clifton Forge, it had a lot of foot traffic during the day. It had a lot of foot traffic during the day. It's a popular spot. There was even a family that they had come in, and here's what I've deduced about dudes and trains. <clears throat> so Phil and I, we've discovered that we like trains. We don't love trains, but we like trains. The guy that I met this afternoon that stopped with his family, he loved trains. He was actually on the way to another location when he found out on the interwebs about this this location and he made a detour just so he could take his family to this place and the wife was into it just as hard as he was and he was the type of dude that was that was you know spitting out like oh you got the 619 not to be confused with the 634 and then of course there's the hiawatha is that the hiawatha that's not the pocahontas i mean he was he was rattling off different names of these classic of these classic uh uh trains he was all about it and I think Pip is absolutely right. Train nerds were the proto nerds. These guys were the original, these guys were the original hardcore nerds that could tell you every detail about a train the way I could tell you about every detail of Star Trek, the original series, right? And, and so, yeah, I, I, uh, I think, I think, yeah, there are gonna be some places that are gonna be better suited for nighttime as opposed to the daytime. Now, one of the things, though, and I, we were talking about this today, is that that is not necessarily something that I have a control over. I was I was doing my best this weekend to make sure that we stayed within the time that we were allocated. I did not want to overstay my welcome. I also wanted to make sure that I left a great impression on on the people that were that were there. And I know that with um, with the people that run the CNO Museum. They, most of them were working on like a volunteer kind of thing. And if not volunteer, you know, money that you would be able to compensate them for through a grant. So they're not getting rich quick by, by what they were doing here. Uh, going deeper into that, going deeper into that, they were there on their time. So I was not going to impose on our hosts over at the museum. Now they were into it. They actually sat in on our investigation and they and, and uh, Spence being Spence was keeping an eye on them to make sure that, that they were copacetic and that they were good. And that was that was beautiful. That was beautiful because, you know, I didn't know what they were expecting. I didn't know what their expectations was of, of me and Phil. And actually, one of them got a really, really cool shot of um, of me and Phil during during my automatic writing session, which uh, which, yes, um, members will get will get a uh, a look at. So, 
so when it comes to and i'm i may have to do a five minute paranormal on working with working with people and stuff like that oh that which reminds me spence nix could you please uh get me the best email for the the the, the person running the um running the theater i would like to not only request a uh letter of recommendation from them but I'd also very much like to just uh, really thank them for being so accommodating because they were, they were very accommodating for us. And um, and yeah, I, I just, I, I did, I had, I had a, like I said, we had, we had a great time with, with, with both groups, but I'm not going to say to somebody, well, um, okay, thank you. Um, but I'm not going to be the person that's going to push another group to say 10 to 12. Eh, could you go to 10 to one? No, look, if they say 10 to 12, it's going to be 10 to 12. And if we're lucky and they like us, and I think they did, they'll come back to us and say, Hey, we'd love for you to come back and do something with us maybe for three hours. Now, yes, the, 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 the sweet spot is four. If you can get a place for four hours, there's a lot you can do in four hours, but you have to be real careful when you're when you're bargaining for that time and i just i uh, i i was not i knew those two hours were going to blink by and they did they did um so first impressions i will tell you this i i thought that the third floor was intriguing for us for for team t the the theater was a lot of different things it was a little active when we first walked in there and then it kind of died down. But as I said to Val today, when we were, when we were casually talking about it, I've said that before. It's like, eh, I don't think we got a lot. Then I go back and I review the, inf uh, or I review the, uh, the, the video and the audio and there's all kinds of stuff in there. So I guess we'll find out when I get to review. However, I will say without, without question, the, There was something about that green room and and uh, downstairs bar dining area reception area. There was something there was something jump jiving and wailing down there. And and I, 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 I don't know what it was, but wow, that that was that was something that was something to, hang, to hold on to and go, OK, we're doing this. So that's normally how it goes yeah yeah we you and i had a, had a good laugh about that so just so you all know uh cassie hobbs val right there um val and i we go back a ways we go back a freaking ways um i think it was val we were all val and i were all part of a writing group ironically the same writing group where i met pip but we were all a part of the same writing group and we were we had written a book called the complete guide to writing fantasy and Val said, if there's anybody in the group that wants to go uh, on a, on a, you know, like, like we've hopped bookstores, you can crash at my, my place. Um, we could do that. Well, I was the first one. I felt I, you know, went downstairs, asked my, asked my, my, my then wife. I said, Natalie, would you be cool with this? She said, oh, yeah, sure. Go for it. Almost 20 years. It'll be 20 years in, in 05. And I flew out to New Hampshire and Val in the same in the same vein as as with Spence, Val had dropped three different places for us to go across three different states, or maybe it was four places. It was a it was a it was a wild wild weekend. But yeah, we did like I think I want to say we did four book signings within within uh, with, within three different states. Um, and not only did we do that, we wound up doing I think two signings with Wen Spencer. Now, if you don't know Wen Spencer, lovely lady, absolutely freaking lovely lady. And yeah, she hooked up with us seven, oh, seven places, three states, four days. That's, that was it. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it was. Thank you. Thank you. Um, And uh, we sat down, Wen Spencer. I mean, she's an award-winning author. Uh, she is the, uh, she is the, 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 the nine, the little sleep, little sleep. Two with when one with Walt Hunt, Walter, God bless Walter. 
Ironically, Walter, active Mason, active Mason. He would have gotten a kick if he had seen what we were doing in that in that uh, in that at that space. I bet. So yeah, yeah, that was a wild time, everybody. It was a wild time, but that was where that was where Val and I met, and that was in 2005. And 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 the funny thing is, at at completely different intervals in our lives, we both got involved in ghost hunting. And this is the first time we got a chance to ever ghost hunt together. So so when you hear Val and I go back and forth, that's what you're hearing. You're hearing about two decades worth of uh, of friendship, memories, and, uh, and and roller coaster rides. So anyway, yeah, good times, everybody, good times. Um, there was something though very active in that in that in that bottom area, and you're right, you're right. The best way I can describe it, uh, that that downstairs green room slash restaurant area was absolutely bizarre. Now I will go I will go um, into the realm of lore and and uh, paranormal beliefs, if you will, but. Running by where the um, downstairs area was of the theater is a is a run. Some people call it a creek. Some people call it a run. But it's it it feeds into a river. I think a river feeds into it. And um, you think? <laughs> I hear you, Walker man. I hear you. I hear you. But now you're going to be better prepared for it. And my re my recommendation to you, uh, Walker, is find something that that you think is. Um, is, is going to be a help to you if you ever want to have like a little a little bit of um, a little bit of protection now I'm not saying I'm not saying Walker I'm not saying wear a cross okay no 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 hear me out hear me out because um, one of the things that that here's here's so here's a weird thing about me and my religion and and wearing crosses I'm Christian. I was raised Christian. I was born Christian, raised Christian, and I am Christian. Okay, you all know that about me on this on this channel. I feel very uncomfortable wearing crosses. Because of the power of that symbol, because of the power and the sacrifice involved and, and what we are taught as kids and as adults about the meaning of the cross, I feel weird about it um, as jewelry. I just feel weird about it. That being said, I do have a talisman that I take with me as protection. And it is a, it was a, a, a strange little gift that was given to us by the orderly the day my dad passed away. Um, he handed me, my brother, my wife and me, since we were there, um, little test tube bottles of an EKG. And it was my dad's EKG. And we said, we, you know, I want you to have these. Feel free to do with them as you wish, but but I just thought you might want to have it. This is this is your this is your father. This is this is your husband. We just want to make sure you know that you know this is this is a thing. And and when when I saw that, it really struck me. And now, whenever I go to paranormal investigations, my dad is with me. My dad is with me. I have that I have that test tube. It is either in my pocket or it's in the backpack that I that I take with me. And when I was talking to Jada about it, I was talking to Jada about the, the importance of talismans and the importance of protection. I I showed her this and she she took it and she said when she touched it, she felt a spark come off of it. And this is Jada. So you know what? If she says she felt the spark come off of it, she felt the spark come off of it. Um. Well, no. Oh wait, are you, are you talking to Walker? You are you talking to Walker, uh, Val, about about the cinnamon stick? Because for me, that's that's my protection. My protection is, and yeah, cinnamon sticks are the best. I love me a good cinnamon stick. But um, but I got my dad there, and of course we have Aunt Ruth. So you know, we 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 have protections, and and I'm just saying, Bard. You know, you got a couple of rings and a cord around my neck. You know, if that works, that works, man. I'm I I'm not jesting, and don't call me Shirley. Um, but I'm just saying, if, if you've got something, great. But I do think you should look into that the next time you wanna you wanna come up with this. 
I think every paranormal investigator should have some kind of protection, something they believe in. I mean, and that's one of the things I like about, you know, we were talking about it with, uh, I remember, I remember that they were actually talking about with Project Fear uh, over at Penhurst Paracon. They were talking to those guys about, you know, they were talking to them about, you know, why they wear their crosses. And you could tell Tanner and Alex were, were they were serious about it. And I respect those boys because one, Tanner's a big dude. He's he could bench press me if he wanted to. Um, secondly, yeah, I mean, they, they they take that kind of protection seriously. And yeah, if it, it also keeps you grounded. It will keep you grounded. Um, yeah, cinnamon sticks. Yeah, cinnamon sticks are, are, are a real Appalachian thing, aren't they? Um, so, so that that was the in a nutshell. That was the that was the 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 vibe about the theater. Now let's talk about the CNO Museum. For those of you who stuck around for the CNO Museum portion, I'd love to hear again your thoughts and your feedback on it. How do we handle it? Um, Here's a here's a question I want to also throw out to, to both streams on YouTube and, and Twitch. Were you all okay with me being the focus of the stream? I mean, I know on Twitch, I know on Twitch, it's the team monster. That's me, right? It's team monster. But over on Old Spirits, I want to make sure that I am not perceived as the face of Old Spirits, right? I just want to make sure that everybody was cool with the fact that the stream stayed on me. Now, granted, when we got to the um, to the train museum, it was back to me and Phil investigating, and me and Phil in in inside of the cameras. That was by design. And so and so, yeah, I I, I just I'm just trying to make sure that that was that was good with everybody. Lovely Phil's face, or you. Man, thank you, sir. Thank you for keeping me humble. Thank you for keeping me humble. Uh, <laughs> uh, now I will say the vibe at the at the museum very different. I'm not sure what was going on at that at that museum, but I will tell you this. Oh, uh, give me a second. Someone just posted here. Um, uh, let's see. This is a two vocation investigation. Uh, we begin at the Masonic Theater. And we end at the Sino Museum. Thank you for reminding me I need to adjust the... <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I need to edit the title. <laughs> and then I'll put a ghost, that, and a ghost. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I just had somebody comment on the on the live stream saying this is not the CNO Railroad building. Yeah, because they were they they were looking at uh, they they were looking they they probably started play and they were like wait a minute that's the Masonic Theater so yeah. Um, I felt the museum was more of a way station and that makes, makes more sense. Well, we were dealing with trains. We were dealing with trains, Val. Oh, excuse me a second. I think one of the cats wants to get out. So hold on. Would you like to get out? Did you want out? You want out, Stay where you were, then. And it was Hudson, everybody. It was Hudson that was in here. I've never had twin cats before. Man, that's this has been a challenge. Okay. Um, I felt, um, 
Oh, I didn't even think about. Well, that's now that's a question I would have for Val and and uh, and Spence, Val and uh, and Nix. Do you know if Clifton Forge is near or on the on the the path of any ley lines? I'm still a little confused about how ley lines work, but um, is that is that a thing about Clifton Forge? But yeah, there is a river that goes right through. I, I, I wouldn't say it was a river. It was more like a run or a creek, whichever way you call it. But it, there was something, there was a creek slash run that did go straight through. Um, got it. Okay. And I just got, I just got something. Nix, thank you, Nix. But yeah, um, I was just saying that I was commenting that somebody on the lot, somebody was commenting on the live stream and they were like, this is not the CNO. And I'm like, yeah. Sorry, it's a it, it was a double it was a double header double header. Um. Oh, we just cracked over a hundred views uh, for the uh, for the premiere. So let's go. Happy about that. Hi, buddy. Now is that a Hicks or is that a Hudson? Come over here. Come on over here. Oh, it's a Hudson. It's a Hudson. Oh, it's a Hudson. It's a Hudson. Places. I don't want my dad going to spooky places. No. I had a rough week. Yeah, I had a rough week. He went to a spooky place. I don't want my dad. I'm gonna go over the tree. Establish some dominance. Okay. <laughs> That, that, uh, that broke up the tension, now, didn't it? <clears throat> okay. Um, that would be something I would need to research. Not a bad thing. I could also ask uh, Pip to look into it if she, if she gets a chance. Uh, here, a run goes into a creek and then into a stream, etc. Okay. So, because I don't think what runs through Clifton Forge, I, again, I'm going to ask, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean over to Spence on this, um, is is the the body of water that runs through clifton forge do you guys refer to that as a creek okay so it is it is creek so it's a creek or so here's something here's something i learned chat here's something i learned in paranormal investigation confederates called it a creek union soldiers called it a run and when they said it was bulls run in my area yeah uh, they called it they, the 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 Confederates called it a creek, yeah, and I do call it a creek because if it was a crick, it's in my neck, okay, that's a little something something for me, but um, but the creek connects to the Jackson River, okay, so thank you, so that that is it, it and and the thing is, when I think of creeks, I think of tiny little like you know you, you can you can measure them like this, right? No, this is the other kind of a creek. This is the creek where if 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 you yeah yeah. If it's got a strong current and it's gonna it's gonna pull your pants off if not you down to some other large large body of, of, a, of a river so yeah and um so so anyway smith creek okay great thank you thank you um i can look to railroads especially old ones do tend to follow ley lines if i remember my father's uh, teachings thank you thank you Val. this is great this is a great great conversation yeah see I do have small creeks and you know I, I grew up around small creeks but you know we actually there was a creek that was near my <coughs> house that I grew up in and uh, it was called Swift Creek in Richmond Swift Creek but Swift Creek could be as wide as these two desks put together and then later later you know if you followed the creek from my backyard, eventually it goes into a reservoir. So, you know, I mean, that's that's why creeks are so weird to me. Creeks or runs are so weird to me because they, they, they there is no real set size. But now we have it. We, it's Smith Creek and it feeds into the Jackson River. So that's where we were this week. Um. <laughs> well played, well played, that was, that was good. That was good. Well done. Well done. Well done. Or else, well done. Um, but yeah, no, there was something, there was some serious juju. 
And again, for my uh, REM pod members and higher, uh, I uploaded from this weekend a stream with Ghost Tube running. It was it wasn't a live stream. It was just a, it was just a video that I shot with Phil, where we actually went beyond the dining car that you all saw at the end of of last night. We pushed forward where they're doing a lot of renovation of the Pullman car. And every corner we turned, the vibe just got creepier and creepier to a point of where we were both feeling the uh, pins and needles along the arm. And I remember hearing Phil say something that I would never wish I would ever hear Phil say ever again, which was, we've been in a lot of abandoned places, T. This one is off the charts. Keep in mind some of the places we've been that have been abandoned have included prisons, asylums, TB wards, a hospice. So yeah, and we yeah we we yeah yeah, but even even with the even with the rain and with the the rising of the creeks in the area and things like that, I would also say Spence, we could just feel in the air. I remember saying that to Phil and to, and to Walker. We just we just felt like the, the the whole town was charged. There was just this 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 really frenetic, and maybe maybe the rain did aggravate it. But I also think too. I, I it feels like with the stuff that we saw this weekend, the dance troupe, the theater, the different things that are going on in the town. Even brainstorming with the people from CNO, it feels like Clifton Forge is trying to swing up. And there are certain towns that are swinging up now. Certain small towns that are swimming, uh, swinging up. Um. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, hang on a minute, everybody. I got. <laughs> oh my God. That is too freaking funny. So, what happened with that comment I was telling you about? It was the online name of the woman that runs the Masonic Theater. So I'm going to change the live right friggin' now just to make sure. Let's see. Ghost Hunting Live. Um, the historic Masonic Theater and the CNO Railroad of Clifton Forge, Virginia. Okay. OSI is live at Clifton Ford, Virginia, and we have the first team to investigate both of these spaces. This is this is what we're saying by be a, be an accommodating be an accommodating guest. You know what I'm saying? Um, first, we are um, live from the recently renovated and breathtaking um, Masonic Theater. <clears throat> which hosts live acts. Um, which hosts live acts occasional oh, occasional films and a local dance troupe uh then the team visits the c c and o Railway Heritage Museum. An indoor 
outdoor um, museum dedicated to the history of the Cincinnati Cincinnati and Ohio I believe that's what CNO stands for railway we'll be online till midnight and we hope you will join us and we are going to be just uh, I, I, will, I will make sure to send this to uh, to her Spence but yeah, uh, Ghost Hunting Live, the Historic Masonic Theater, and CNO Railroad Museum of Clifton Forge, Virginia. Yeah. Saved. Okay. Yeah, the thumbnail, it's funny, the, the thumbnail is from uh, the railway, but the other thumbnails that are offered are all from the, um, are all from the, uh, the, the third floor. Pip is going to actually fix that. Pip's got Pip's got wicked uh, thumbnail game. So, yeah, yeah, fixed. Okay, great. <laughs> Let's see. And uh, now I'm going to try some. Try some. Wait, was try some bluegrass music? People in the area love bluegrass band that played there. Really? Just gonna say. Now I'm gonna. Now, now I'm gonna. Now, now I'm gonna drop a quote. Let's see. Uh, I wandered. I wandered the wasteland of country, and then found. The promised land of bluegrass. I think it was the desert. I think it was I think he said desert. I wandered the desert of country and then found the promised land of bluegrass. And that was Ricky Skaggs. I love bluegrass. I do. I love Brugge. That's that is that is a that is a uh, that is a red hot fact that you may or may not have known about me, chat. I love bluegrass music and honky tonk. Oh my god, you put on some honky tonk, I'm all about it. I love me some honky tonk. Um, there was a honky tonk number that was cut from the original stage version of Evita. They put it in the film, and Antonio Banderas sings it. And it's wicked good. It's wicked good. Also, I fixed the, I fixed, I fixed the title. <laughs> I fixed the title and description. Uh, a more appropriate thumbnail. Is coming. Is coming soon. Uh, I, and wait, what, what are you doing? What are you doing, Kat? Are you, hang on. <laughs> All right. Um, so a lot of things happening right now. <laughs> a lot of things happening right now. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Um, uh, well, uh, man, I have completely, I, I, I have completely blown a gasket. I'm, 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 uh, <clears throat> Okay, so oh no, we, we were talking about the uh, we were talking about the CNO Railroad. Um, yeah, we could have easily spent. Wait, uh, call next on speaker. Oh, <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, I mean, I, I, the, the Spence just want to come into come into my Discord. That might be easier. Did you want to come into Discord? <laughs> oh, this is too funny. Um, <clears throat> oh, okay. There you go. 
Okay, great. Hang tight. We're gonna get. We're gonna bring Spence and Spence in here because it'll be. This was not the. I was not planning for this to be an interactive experience. This. Uh, um. This. Uh. This. This back and forth. But hey, why not? Let's get. Let's get Spence in here. Hello, Spence. Uh oh, wait. Let me make sure Spence can hear me. Let me make sure that. Uh... Okay. Oh, sorry. There you go. Okay, so you can't hear me. Yes. Ah, perfect. Hi, Spence. <laughs> Hi. I Hi. have. I have exciting news. You have some excite. Oh wait, yeah. wait a minute. Wait, wait. Can you can you just give me, uh, just a few seconds? There was something I wanted to applaud Spence for, and I need more hype and chat oh over this. God. The whole sabotage the backpacks. <laughs> Dear Christ, I thought that was hysterical. And for those of you who missed it, you'll have to look in some into some of the some of the clips. Oh, hang on, hang on. I made a clip of it. Okay. I can post that in chat. Oh, actually, no. If people are on your Discord, I posted it in the paranormal. Uh, I posted it in the paranormal channel on the Discord. But no, I'm talking about the original one where I'm going. You sab I sabotage your backpack. So oh yes. That is yeah. That that is a clip. That is a clip some, somewhere. Okay. So okay. Yes. Well well done, Spence. Well done, secondhand. You got me. Now. So, now. <laughs> now. So Wendy's been texting me this evening. Oh, shit. <laughs> right now. Right now. Guess guess what the last message I got was. It was. I'm I'm hoping it was. It was a delight to work with you all. Uh, there will be lots of people checking out the, uh, the live, I'm sure, and I want to let you all know that your group is welcome back at, to the theater anytime. Let's go. Let's go, everybody! Let's go! Let's go! And no, no more sabotage in the backpacks. Uh oh, I, I, but it was fun. I will, I will, I will definitely <laughs> pass that on to Phil. Um, I'm still gonna write a thank you note, and I did, I, I did want to throw out there... I did uh, change because I didn't realize that, that was Wendy that, that pinged me on. Yeah, I, I messaged her once because <laughs> I'm watching. I'm here. I'm here. Um, so uh, I did um, I did let her know that it was fixed. Yeah, I did yeah. fix it. And I even went so far as to fix the description. So yeah. it now reads Ghost Hunting Live, the historic Masonic Theater and CNO Railroad Museum of Clifton Forge, Virginia. And then in the description it says, <clears throat> "OSI is live at Clifton Forge, Virginia." We are the first. Oh, it's uh, Chesapeake and Ohio, not Cincinnati and Ohio. Thank you, Chesapeake, because I was like, "Yeah, Cincinnati." That's all. Ohio. That's all. Uh, that's all secondhand. But I was thinking, it, I think it's Chesapeake because because of Chessy the cat. That's right, Chessy. And we did take pictures, by the way. I did not realize there was no there. Was, oh yeah, and secondhand just dropped that into YouTube. Chesapeake yeah. and Ohio. Thank you. I had no idea that Chessie wasn't a real cat. Yep, that I, is. I just think that, that is, in fact, true. It, it's it's both cool and a little heartbreaking. But um, but um, so there is there is that thought that if you put enough thought, you think it's real long enough, you get an egregore. Yeah. And so that's kind of because we had some in. Well, I had some instances of feeling and seeing a cat shadow. Um, and so, you know, maybe it was a cat that was patrolling the freight area, or maybe it was Chessie. Chessie. Well, I, I will say they had a they had a really cool in this in this and for anybody who lives within striking distance of Clifton Forge, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Take an afternoon. Take a day. Go out to go out there. It's a this town is a gem. Nice people. Um, the, the Masonic Theater is gorgeous. And the CNO Railway, like I said, Phil and I didn't know that we liked trains until we got a chance to climb inside one and get into the cockpit of an engine. And suddenly we were like, we like trains. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, ask for Leo. God damn, I love me some Leo. He's 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 got Chuck vibes. He's not he is not at Chuck level, but he's awfully damn close. That's saying something right there. Um, but uh, but no, I did I did fix that, and uh, I will be pinging Wendy uh, first thing tomorrow just to say, hey, look, we'd love to have a letter of recommendation from you. Uh, here's the one that we got from, and I'm gonna send her the one that we got from <clears throat> uh, from uh, Historic Manassas because Pip is absolutely right. The more the more um, things we have like this in our repertoire, 
the easier it is for us to approach other people and say, hey, look, you don't have to believe us. Take a look at this and take a look at this. And that way, that way people know that we're not some, you know, yucca putzes that, that fell out fell out of the last rain shower. And, um, and I will be going to a community planning meeting on Thursday oh, wow. to possibly talk, like, put put some bugs in ears about something for later on in the year. Okay. Okay. This year, you mean? Either this year or right. next year. Okay. I mean, because we, we were kicking around some, some names for it. We can workshop it if they like, but, you know, if you need, if you, if you need, um, Pip and I can make ourselves available. And we can mm -hmm. come down again and talk to people if you need us to talk to people, just so you know. Well, right? it's it's mostly going to be, hey, this is me. I'm here. Right. I do these things. And right. now you know. Sounds good. Okay. But anyway, I'm not going to take over <laughs> your stream. I just had to share the good news. <laughs> okay. Um, Thank you so much for coming down and visiting me. That's that, like, I just used ghosts to lure you here. Well, yeah, whatever it takes, right? <laughs> For some exactly. look, look, look for, for, for some people it's you know it's it it's it's the tight pants, it's the uh it's 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 the you know it's the corsets and all that. For me it's like, hey, I got a haunted place here. It's like, well, okay then. Let's talk. Now I can be like, I got a haunted place and I got trains. Yeah. And like and I and I I, I thought I don't know if you knew about that, but yeah, Pip Pip found out that, that Hillcrest uh that Hillcrest bed and breakfast, they have they have paranormal packages. So I uh I think Brandy had sent me one thing for it and I was like, "Oh, okay." But then I completely forgot about right, it. Right, 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 so. right. Yeah, we 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 we're, we're like I said, we're we're finding out more. We're finding out more things. It's interesting. But yeah. anyway, um so yeah, uh good times. And and yeah, we had, we like I said, we had a great time. Thank you again so much for being for 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 organizing it. So, you know, we really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll we'll be in touch, okay? Absolutely. All right. All right. Bye, chat. See ya. Okay. Um, we had a good time this weekend. We really did. We really, really did. So uh, concerning the CNO, again, um, it was a really neat place for one thing. And secondly, the thing I would say about it too is that when when like I said, Phil and I were going back in the back of the Pullmans, or, or the, there was a Pullman, beautiful condition on the outside on the inside it's it's getting renovated and um i mean you know you see like the the buttons to call the porter they had they had like they had little, like little tiny one sleeper cars and they had you know full suites and things like that it was really really cool but man when we started getting to the back of the car and this was this was in this was during the day phil and i were just feeling it we were absolutely feeling it and then and I thought to myself, at night, this is gonna be off the hook. But because we had so many, and this is not a bad thing, again, not a bad thing, it was just different for us. There were so many, um, so many in our party that we couldn't take everybody back there. We couldn't take everybody back there. So, yeah, um, we, we put it on our to-do list for, uh, for, for next year. We put it on our to-do list, or for our, mm -hmm. let me rephrase that, for the next time we come down. But I need to make sure I get I get the I get this uh, I get this stuff off to to Phil, talk to him a bit, let him know that that yeah people are people are apparently very happy with us and and I'm good with that. I'm I'm really good with that. I am really really good with that. And I, I will say to everybody uh, both over on YouTube and over on Twitch, thank you all so very 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 much for all the support you've shown us this weekend all the, the 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 comments the questions keeping chat lively both on youtube and on twitch hanging out with us and and really 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 kind of kind of giving us a you know give, giving us a little nudge that that we're that we're, we're heading in the right direction that was the main thing i wanted to say uh i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up stream we're not going to raid anybody or anything. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is Midichlorian Monday. I did want to make sure that that you all knew that tomorrow is in fact Midichlorian Monday, but we might have a surprise for Monday. Haven't decided yet, but there may be a surprise for Monday. I'll keep everybody posted on that throughout the day. All right. 
But until next time, you all in the, uh, you all take care, and you all stay safe, and you know what happens. Pip, uh, Pip, Phil, Tina, and I will see you in the field. Thanks, everybody, for making this weekend so freaking awesome. Peace. Have a good night.